Well, hello there, friends. My name is Andrew Michael. I'm a broker associate with eXp Realty. And today we are in Southern Pines, which is a uh, Toronto Homes neighborhood up here in Nassau, for me, up here in Nassau County between Hilliard and Callahan. Why should you care? Well, if you want a one, if you want a home, a single family home, new construction on a one acre lot or larger, you are not gonna beat this deal. At least I don't know where you could go to find it. So we're gonna tour the Leland model. They call it a three bedroom, two bath with a, uh, like a flex room, kind of a bonus room, but I'm gonna call it a four bedroom and I'll show you why. This house is actually available for sale and that's what kind of excites me about it. When you go through model homes, oftentimes, I mean, how many times have you done this before? You go into the model home and it just looks stunning. And it's like, oh, you want that? Well, that's $10,000. Oh, you want that? 20 grand. And it just starts getting more and more expensive as they talk. But here, I'm gonna walk you in and I'm gonna show you exactly what you are gonna get if you purchase this home right here. Now, I don't normally talk prices on this channel, but right now, you could purchase this home for $440,000. Now, for a house that's just over 2,000 square feet with four bedrooms on over a one acre lot or right around a one acre lot, that's not bad. Let me show you, well, we'll do the yard last. Let's go ahead and take a look at the house. So, there we go. So this is the front. You got a two car garage. Let's walk inside. I'm gonna point out a lot of little extras here while we're here. All right, you got a little uh, closet for your uh, coats or more likely raincoats. Now this is going to be kind of like over here, you would put like your, uh, most people put their chairs, TVs on the wall, that sort of thing. So let's go to the kitchen first. This has got a really good sized kitchen. Quartz countertops, by the way. Now the fridge, everything you see in this video comes with the home. There you go. Now there will be an oven. It's just not, they just haven't put it in yet. I believe it'll be a whirlpool. So you've already got the blinds. And again, this is, I believe, I believe, don't hold me to it, but I think that's quartz there too. Uh, oh, then I got showed in my other video. Soft close, very nice. Also has the dovetail. All right. It is vented out of the house. Now the home does not come with natural gas, but the site agent, Nicole, did tell me that you might be able to add a propane tank. So I have a propane company come in, bury the tank, hire people to come in after the sale and hook up gas if that's something you want. Here you go, here's your pantry. Very nice. All right. So let's go to the master first. Oh, since it's coming off, let me go to the, off the kitchen first. So this would most likely be your dining area. And here you go. So this is your lanai. Now I would definitely recommend screening this in. If you're from Florida, you know why. If not, bugs. All right. So this is the backyard. However, Let's see, so over there's a, this tree that I'm pointing to. Your property line goes to right around there. Now, if you're interested in this specific house, uh, shoot me a text, give me a phone call, and I'll get a survey for you. But right there is the drain field on the side. So it's not cleared. You could clear it after you buy it. But this tree all the way past there is going to be the one boundary. Now, you're also your property would go well beyond what's cleared here, I'll kind of give you an idea. A lot of people have a hard time imagining a yard this big. All right, so this is gonna be your well, your aerator, all that kind of good stuff. So obviously on your property, since this is for your home. And I think the fire break back here had the, uh... there you go, okay. So right around here is going to be now, 
your property line is gonna go like probably right around where that tree is. My truck up in the front gives you an idea where the front of your, the street is. And then you can see the little survey markers down the fire break, or at least I can. So like where the house is right over here on this side of the road, that's about where the boundary of the property is gonna be. So it's a really large yard. Uh, I have a copy of the bylaws, so if you're interested in seeing those, uh, shoot me a text, let me know, I'll get that for you. But from what the site agent says, it allows chickens, um, you know, stuff for the reason. You probably can't have like dairy cattle and stuff like that. But if you want to have a large garden, you want to have chickens, and that seems to be pretty popular nowadays, you could absolutely do it here. So, all right, let's go back inside the house and let's finish up the tour. All right, so we are back in the house now. So the blinds are inside the door. Pretty neat. All right, let's keep walking. Oh, forgot to turn this light on. Oop. There we go. All right, so this is a really good size master. I didn't turn on all the lights, but... So there you go, you've got four lights. One, two, three, four inside the uh, ceiling. You got crown molding. Definitely big enough to put a king size bed and have nightstands on either side. No, no problem there. Now here we are, we're in the, uh, the master bathroom. So again, all their homes have a tub, have a shower. Like the other one we just toured, this one has a um, walk-in closet, there you go. All right, I know this doesn't really do it justice. Trust me, it's bigger than it looks in the video. All right, so now we are gonna go ahead and walk to the secondary bedrooms. Let's go do that. Okay, so they have it listed as a three bedroom, uh, and I'll show you why I disagree with that in a minute. Okay, so here is the secondary bathroom. Then you've got your uh, your bedrooms here. There you go. Closet. Okay, so we've seen the master plus two more bedrooms. Now, I would call this the fourth bedroom because in my world as a real estate agent, as long as you have a room with a closet, you have a bedroom. The reason they're not calling it a bedroom, and this is actually a little bigger than the other bedrooms, is because it doesn't have carpet, it has this flooring. But to me as a real estate agent, that doesn't matter. If I were listing this home for sale, I would call this a fourth bedroom. So, and here you go, here's your closet. It's not big, but there you go. Big enough. So that is it. That is the, oh, oh I almost, that was almost it. Here we go. So this is where your, uh, your laundry, uh, your, your washer dryer is gonna go. And like all of their homes, they have already put down the, um, there you go, already put that down on the ground. Now, uh, we're not gonna go up in the attic, but here is your water softener already installed. So that is the little end. So what do you think? Are you interested? Um, do a comment below. And this one that we saw here, this is not a model. This is made for a buyer. So if you're, it's listed for $440,000. If you're interested in finding out more, uh, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, and I can get some more information for you. And yeah, thank you very much for joining me. It was a pleasure meeting you. My name is Andrew Michael, and I look forward to meeting you in person. Bye-bye.